For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Friday, May 21st, my name is Ian Kelly. These are some of the stories we're following at this hour. The state of Vermont reported one death and 33 new cases of COVID-19 on Thursday, with two new cases reported in Wyndham County. The state of New Hampshire reported one death and 149 new cases of the virus, with 13 new positive tests reported in Cheshire County. The state of Massachusetts reported nine deaths, 538 new cases of the virus on Thursday, with four positive tests reported in Franklin County. The Wyndham and Windsor Housing Trust says it met the challenge of the COVID era head-on, making giant strides forward in providing excellent housing services and creating over 115 new housing opportunities. The nonprofit will be holding an online meeting on May 27th. Emergency medical service organizations across Vermont will open their doors this weekend to host walk-in COVID vaccination clinics. Today through Sunday, the nearly 30 EMS sites will offer the Johnson & Johnson vaccine for people ages 18 and older. No, no appointment is necessary, and to find an EMS vaccination site near you, just visit healthvermont.gov forward slash my vaccine. Senator Bernie Sanders has introduced legislation to address a doctor shortage in rural areas. The legislation would increase funding for the National Health Service Corps by $1 billion per year for 10 years, permanently authorize the Teaching Health Center Graduate Medi uh, Medical Education Program, and those positions will last over seven years, and establish new criteria for how the new graduate medical education training positions would be allotted at qualifying hospitals with a minimum of 50% of the new slots going towards primary care. A new state report shows that Vermont has a tremendous advantage over every other state in the United States fighting climate change. That advantage, the cleanest electricity supply in the country. Green Mountain Power says the achievement is the result of work to decarbonize the energy supplies with a diverse mix of local and regional resources, including solar, hydro, wind, and biomass. WTSA Sports, locally in girls softball, uh, softball action yesterday, Leland and Gray with a convincing 14-1 win over Woodstock. Leland and Gray takes on Twin Valley tomorrow, first pitch at 11. J.D. Martinez hit a go-ahead two-run homer in the ninth to lead the Red Sox to an 8-7 win over Toronto, Boston visits Philadelphia tonight, first pitch at 7.05. The Yankees beat the Rangers again 2 to nothing yesterday. The Yankees host the White Sox tonight, first pitch at 7.05. And the Bruins and the Capitals play off hockey tonight in Boston with the puck dropping at 6.30. The Bees lead that series two games to one. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Friday, May 21st, have a tremendous and safe weekend, everybody. My name is Ian Kelly.